You're gaming on Windows. There are a lot of things you could download that would help make everything easier on you. I'm Falcon, and today on Game Ranks, here's 10 Windows programs every gamer should have. Just as a quick disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video and we don't have any affiliation with any of these software providers. This is just stuff that we think is useful. Number 10 is LaunchBox, which is by far the best launcher for playing any possible kind of game on your PC. Now, especially for people who have their PCs hooked up to a television, this is really legitimately the best way. It's compatible with a ton of emulators, organizes everything thanks to a big crowdsourced library, built by an incredibly active community, and on top of that even provides instruction manuals for your emulated games. At least all the ones that Emu Movies covers. Like I said, it's not just emulation oriented, it also supports your Steam library. There's other launches out there like GameRoom.me, which is also a good one if you're looking for something that supports Steam, Origin, and Uplay, as well as many others, but LaunchBox really is extensive. I would definitely give it a look if you haven't already. Number 9 is Flux, or F.Lux, depending on how you know it. It really doesn't matter how you pronounce the name. What it is, is a means to keep your screen from burning your eyes out when you play games at night. Flux adjusts the colors on your screen so that at night it gives you a more warm glow feel as opposed to the clinical blue blast of light that you get from a monitor in the nighttime. It can really help your eyes feel a lot more comfortable when playing games at night. And if you're anything like me, well that's just a fact of life. Number 8 is Pin Steam, which allows you to pin all of your Steam titles to the start menu with very nice tiles. You know, not an icon, not a Windows 32x32 32 32 icon. Whether you have the regular Windows Start or even if you use your device in mobile mode and get the full screen thing, the nice, rich, live tile experience version of launching your games is much nicer. On top of that, you can also pin specific friends to your Start menu in case you want to follow their online status without having to open up Steam or Steam Messenger. Number 7 is Game Save Manager, a program that really does a great job of helping you sort organize and back up your saves which there's more than one reason you might want to do for one you may be one of those types that does a lot of formatting on your hard drive a lot of people do that on a regular basis just to make sure that their system always runs at a optimal speed game save manager can be used to make that much easier and then there's the roamer who likes to take all their saves with them everywhere they go just in case they're gonna play their favorite game and need to make some progress and then there's also the very practical use of what happens when you're files get corrupted. What then? Game Save Manager does all this in a very simple one action process. There is no list of steps, it just does it. It's great. Number six is Winderstat, which sounds like a bizarre Swedish word, but it's actually very useful. It's a disk usage and statistics as well as cleanup tool that kind of lets you know exactly what's on your hard drive. And when I say that, I mean exactly. It goes much further into detail than you can ever do browsing around your hard drive, right-clicking things, and clicking properties. You get a visual representation of how much everything takes up space, and you're able to manage what's going on as well. As hard drives get ridiculous in size, it may become less and less important, but some games still take up an exorbitant percentage of your hard drive, and maintaining those installs on top of temporary files is sometimes interesting let's just say. A good alternative if you happen to not like Winderstat is Space Sniffer, which is very similar and also does a great job. Number five is MSI Afterburner, which is a piece of software you can use to overclock your graphics card. And when I say your graphics card, I don't mean your MSI graphics card. It's essentially one of the most widely used utilities on every single graphics card by every single manufacturer. It's an extremely extensive program and does a great job of giving you a lot of options as well as the ability to monitor everything, which is important. You gotta know your graphics card's limits, otherwise you're gonna fry the thing. And one of the coolest things about it is it has a mobile app so you can adjust the settings while in-game without exiting your game. Seriously, this is, in my opinion, the best piece of software for this, and it's free. Number four is Super F4, which gives you the ability to kill programs instantly with Control-Alt-F4, which is sounds maybe a little bit superfluous on account Alt-F4 is supposed to do that, but it doesn't always. In fact, a lot of programs nowadays are intentionally disabling Alt-F4. And this piece of software, no matter what, will kill the program that is in the foreground on your Windows machine. Number three is Key 
week, which is a great program to remap your keyboard. You know how sometimes you're like, I really wish the controls did it this way? Well, it doesn't matter if they allow you to customize the controls in game, you can customize the controls. This is how. Normally to do something like this, you'd have to edit the registry, which can be tedious, but Key Tweak instead makes it much easier. There's more in-depth editing of keys as well as a teach mode that allows you to simply get a prompt for what you want the key to do, and you press the key that you want to do that. It's a very simple piece of software, but it could be very, very useful to a lot of gamers out there. Number two is Borderless Gaming, which is a utility that does one very, very simple thing, and that's playing your game in a borderless window. Let's say you have a windowed game, and it doesn't have a full screen mode. You can just run it through Borderless Gaming, and voila, beautiful full screen game. And finally, number one is ShareX, which is an image capture tool that's both lightweight and open source. Now, when you think image capture utility, you think, why not the print screen button? Well, you know that doesn't work in a lot of games, but ShareX goes out of its way to give you extra features, such as some rudimentary effects, watermarking, and even annotating that it does internally. It also gives you the ability to upload automatically or on the fly to all the most popular image hosting services, and once you get adjusted to using it, it becomes incredibly useful. A couple of bonus programs that you can use, I guarantee. First, the Nexus Mod Manager, which is an open open source piece of software that manages all of your mods. It does it in a great interface, really quick, and takes a lot of the hassle out of modding. Process Explorer, which does a good job of breaking down exactly what is being used by every process down to the file name. And Ultramon, which ensures that you can do basically anything you can think of with any monitor combination. What do you consider to be your most essential piece of software on a Windows gaming PC? Let's hear about that in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, maybe got some ideas or just agree with what we've been saying, why not click like? If you are not subscribed right now, you should do so. We upload brand new videos every single day of the week. And we thank you very much for watching this one. I'm Falcon. You can follow me on Twitter at FalconTheHero. And we'll see you next time right here on GameRanks.